The king is back in all of his glory, rocking the crown. It's King Arthur's court. Obviously, he gets the crown when he's on a heater, so let's keep it rolling. But before we get to his picks, a reminder to send a picture of your dog with a little bio to Doug. Tweet it at Doug Kazarian for a chance to be featured on the segment. All right, let's get down to business, Arthur. What are we looking at? You know, the gambling gods were smiling when MVS dropped that bomb. So the Eagles, the Eagles get the outright win. So three straight. He's rocking the crown. He's going max it. Ooh. You know, what you gotta put the put it on the line. Put the crown on the line. Eastern Michigan catching six and a half at Buffalo. The narrative is obvious. They need a win to go bowling. The question is. Does incentive and pressure, is that a good thing? I mean, it's not like they weren't trying to win other games during the year. <laughs> they have a losing record for a reason. So the question is, Is I think Buffalo's kind of in a rut. They're not, you know, getting up for this game. I, I liked how Eastern Michigan played the last game. Now, the, obviously, they were playing Akron, so it was an inferior opponent. But you're catching six and a half against a low-scoring team. So I think all things considered, I think Eastern Michigan's going to play hard. I think they're going to be ready for this game. I don't know if the Bulls are, but Eastern Michigan will be. So we'll grab the six and a half to have some fun with Max and put that red crown on the line. Crowns on the line, bowl games on the line. There's a lot on the line with this one. Okay, so we're going with the dogs of Eastern Michigan. 